Hey team. So here's another tool, another drill that you can use for training at home by yourself. Um, this is a medicine ball. I used to do these years ago on stability balls. Some people call them Swiss balls. Uh, I remember the first time I got to stand up on one, so excited without you know like kicking me off, falling off. So uh, I really like using stuff like this, Swiss balls, medicine balls. Smaller, bigger versions. The smaller, the more detailed, the more intricate you have to be about it. But I like using this as the hada, the center piece, um, center line, center energy of the person I'm working with, right? So I'm just imagining this is another person. I can work my side control on them, make it a little bit more cross body, let them bear my weight. Case of Katame, right? Flow, pop up to knee on belly. Come back around, now I've got my S mount on them. Go back here, right, side control. Boom, I'm popping up the mount, make sure my knees are squeezing those ribs in. All right, we're basing off. Back to side control. Case of Katane, back to side control. I'm here, to there, to knee on belly, to mount, back to knee on belly, All right? Scoop underneath, boom. Right on back to Kesa Katame. Bigger ball, easier to move with, believe it or not. Little ball, a little bit more challenging. You have to be very detailed. Everything's got to be nice, tight, and compact. So I'm here, if I want to go Kesa Katame, look how tight I have to be, how close I have to be to everything. Nice and locked in. Back to side control. If I want to go knee on belly, I have to be very precise. I want to be here. This is where I want that weight to bear. I do my knee on belly, right? If I'm being nice, Normal class, training partner, could be here. Competition style or really training hard. I might have that knee down more. The toes pointing away. Collar grip, belt and collar, depending on how you're doing yours. Maybe no he style. Maybe you're here locking in. You're trying to get something else. Back to Kesa Katame. So again, simple little tools that you can use to keep your training you don't always need a training partner in order to train. It's nice, it's helpful, it does help you grow. But if you don't have anyone around to train with, there's no excuses not to train. Training should always be done and that's, that's up to you. My training's up to me, it's my responsibility. Okay.